waste management is, is destroying the, the family farm. I'm Cleo. Um, I'm 88 and a half years old and I've always lived within two miles of waste management stop. I'm Helen and this is my home and I view the waste management dump every day. My grandparents came in 1906 and ours is one of about 12 that I can name farms that qualify for sensory farms which means the fourth, fifth, and sixth generations are now operating the farms and putting food on our table. They've been very dedicated and they're very upset to see their prime farmland being dumped and filled with garbage. Yeah, it was real pretty when we came down here in 1984. I'd lived here in my childhood years, but when we got married we lived closer to Portland. And when we came back, it was really pretty. And the first thing we knew, we had garbage dumped out here. And then it just grew and grew. and it, it didn't amount to anything, but it was on the South Yam Hill River. But, but we didn't see it. Now it's a mountain. It really has had a very negative effect on the people that live in the area. Uh, it stinks, it's noisy, it's an eyesore. Um, it, on prime farmland that used to grow row crops, I used to go out there and pick broccoli and corn. They grew tomatoes and squash, and now it's all covered with garbage, and they're taking up hundreds of acres, and they want to go further. Where you used to look out the front window and see Mount Hood, now you see the garbage and the big semis up on top unloading the garbage. It's, it's demoralizing and to see the land that is producing um, orchards, filberts, grapes uh, and food for the um, people, it's, it's demoralizing. There's hardly anybody around here that will drink the water. Most of them are hauling it. My kids won't touch it. Not good. My name is Molly with Brooks, and I'm 85 years old. Our family has lived on the farm uh, for 150 years. We're one of Oregon's pioneer families. And now it's been dis destroyed by the waste and the cement. Dump. The farm uh, used to be so beautiful and at times even elegant, but now with the uh, dump next door, it's a loss for everyone. My name is Larry Fries. This is my hazelnut orchard. I live here in McMinnville. I'm confronted with the fact that years ago when our landfill was put in, we were promised that it was never going to go above ground level. Then it was changed. It would go to 170 feet above ground level. And I'm really not sure how high it is now, but it's really obtrusive and it needs to be leveled. I would expect somebody like waste management to be more responsible in, in trying to control vermin and, uh, and handle the problems. And we're just getting overrun with uh, rats, mice, birds, uh, and for hazelnuts. Birds are the worst thing that you can have in here because they transmit eastern filbert blight. And just three or four days ago in my neighbor's field, 
I don't know what it, what bird it was. It was black, but I'm sure that there was at least a 1, thousand, fifteen hundred of them. The ground was black. And a lot of times you see them sitting on the wires uh, on the uh, roadside, and it's just a constant line. That's something you didn't used to see. Waste management uh, is a big attraction. It's only a matter of time, and something's going to, uh, to go wrong. We're going to get hit with some nasty disease or pandemic uh, event. And then the value of not only your land, but the crops that you raise and everything else, it's going to affect farmers, it's going to affect everybody. I hate to think what the wine industry is going to be faced with. Um, they could really stand to lose a lot. You know, it's hard. It used to be so pretty to look out the window, and now we have that. No, I'm getting older and there's not much reason to, to live in this area anymore because the waste management has brought, bought property right up to our land. And it's just not much of an asset and it's not much of a legacy to leave to the children. I couldn't leave this to my kids. Uh, who would want to come out here and live here as this dump gets bigger and bigger and bigger? Everything will just get worse. I think Yamhill County has hosted the garbage of the Northwest long enough. It should be moved on to someplace else. Everything seems so hopeless. And I, I, I find it, I can't even talk about it. And I feel bad about the, the generations following. My, and it's obvious that uh, everybody will have to be moved out, whether it's our farm or other neighbor's farm, and the whole area is at a loss.